good Wednesday morning, tracking some wet weather once again for some as we are tracking some light showers here this morning, making our way up once again from the south. Very similar to yesterday morning, just uh, not as many showers out there, but still a lot of wet roads and uh, some raindrops falling from the sky in a few spots. One of those uh, spots that just picked up on one of those light showers is Carbondale. As you can see, the dark skies out there, there's still some breaks in the clouds and we may actually end up with a few peaks of sunshine here through the morning hours. A spot shower or two. Uh, most of these are very light and they don't last for very long. It is warm. It's a bit humid outside actually as we've had a breeze through the overnight hours. Keep temperatures up and another warm afternoon as temperatures start to climb closer to 80 this afternoon. Even warmer weather in store for us for Thursday, Friday and then feeling like summer uh, by the weekend. In fact, by Sunday temperatures getting very close to uh, 90 degrees for some folks. Now temperatures right now outside into the mid to upper 60s and another mild morning at 66 in Marion, 68 in Mount Vernon. You may actually get by this morning without a jacket. It's 66 in Sykes and 66 in Cape and 66 right now in Poplar Bluff. And there's the little light rain showers we're talking about. Uh, we've seen the most widespread rain out across parts of southeastern Illinois through Hardin, Gallatin and Saline counties, but also still tracking a few showers. Again, one of those just passed by uh, Carbondale. We're also tracking a couple heavy downpours making their way up Route 3 just to the west of Murfreesboro. This is going to pass through uh, Kincaid Lake. Jacob and Nooner continue to track off to the north and that's likely going to impact uh, Ava and Campbell Hill shortly. A few more developing there through western sections of Johnson County, just to the west of Vienna, crossing 146 and approaching the Goreville Lake of Egypt area as well. Further to the south, a few more showers continue to develop through western McCracken County, Ballard County, Kentucky's, as well as Mississippi County there in southeast Missouri. Everything tracking from the south to the north once again this morning. The warm front that we were tracking yesterday morning that brought us the widespread rain well to our north, but we're still close enough to this area of low pressure to our west that we've still got a couple showers out there here to start the day. Once again, Again, uh, later on this week, big dome of high pressure building in across the southeastern U.S. It's going to cut off the rain chances by the end of the week. There's those little showers we're talking about this morning. By this afternoon, notice they fade away. A few peaks of sunshine possible. Uh, temperatures today, upper 70s across southern Illinois. Likely uh, already going to see some lower 80s today into western Kentucky and the Missouri Boot Hill. Now, everybody, as we head into Thursday, is likely to warm up into the lower 80s. 82, 83 degrees on average Thursday afternoon. And notice not as many showers out there very little in the way of rainfall Thursday. A few breaks in the clouds. Uh, we went ahead and called it partly cloudy, but this big area of high pressure, this big ridge is going to build in across the uh, central U.S. here as we head towards the end of the weekend into the weekend. This is a summer like pattern that's going to crank up those temperatures. It's also going to bump up the humidity just a bit. Now temperatures today running very close to average for this time of year. Uh, on average running about 78 this afternoon, but 80s in here for Thursday and Friday, Saturday, mid 80s and by Sunday and Monday uh, approaching 90 degrees. That'll be about 10 degrees above average. And again, the humidity will be running a little bit higher as we see dew points climbing back into the low to mid 60s. Of course, you can track any of the showers we've got making their way through the area this morning with the Storm Track 3 app and also keep track of that warm weather and that weekend forecast as well. Right there in the palm of your hand. 82 degrees on Thursday, 84 Friday, Saturday and Sunday dry days. High temperatures though bouncing back close to 90 by the end of the weekend and into the first part of next week. Monday and Tuesday high temperatures once again into the upper 80s there. We are tracking another active pattern setting up though by the second half of next week, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday as we add in those three extra days. We get that 10 day forecast only found here on News 3 and we'll bring temperatures down just a bit. But uh, guys, we, I said it yesterday. I think it's safe to put away your coats. I think That's we're done with 80. the cold weather. In fact, there's a lot of signs that, you know, summer weather at least setting in for the weekend for sure. All right, I'll brace myself. <laughs> yeah, Dave's over there just pumping his fist. I don't like to be hot, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you, Nick.